Being able to connect four external monitors with a MacBook for video editing is pretty much impossible, especially if the screens have up to 6K resolution. Manufacturer iVanky is the first one to offer a docking station called the Fusion Dock Max 1 to be able to connect and work with multiple screens. The setup works with three 6K 60Hz monitors and one 4K 60Hz monitor. The device features dual Thunderbolt 4 chips to be able to handle the high amount of data smoothly. The station has a total of 20 ports, a 40 gigabit per second data transfer rate and 2.5 gigabit ethernet. Even though we don't edit with four monitors regularly, there are times when a setup like this is needed. For most of our video edits, we use two screens. So we've connected two 4K monitors via the dedicated HDMI connections. It supports HDMI 2.0 up to 4K 60 Hz. The ports are placed at the front and the back of the unit. There's a reason why the company calls this the Ultra 20 in one powerhouse. Having such a high number of inputs and outputs also means that a secondary docking station isn't needed. To connect external hard drives or other devices, the unit has a total of 5 USB-A and 8 USB-C ports. The device even features a 3.5mm microphone input to record audio and a regular 3.5mm line out port. Located below the mic input are two separate slots to directly copy files from an SD card or micro SD card. The first thing we do when coming back from a shoot is copy the files and back them up immediately. That's also why the 2.5 gigabit ethernet port is essential for our workflow. This is ideal to connect a network attached storage to directly have access to all video and project files that are needed when editing or simply when wanting to back up high amounts of data. There's even a security slot to be able to block access to the station. The labeling of all connections is helpful. Otherwise, it could take a while to figure out which cable needs to be plugged in into which port. Setting up the Fusion Dock Max 1 is rather easy and requires the wiring of the power cable into the DC input port. To connect the station with a laptop, the dedicated dual USB-C cable needs to be plugged into both devices. When it comes to the performance and speed, the docking station works reliably. We haven't had any delays or other issues with handling 4K and 8K video files in Premiere Pro. The output on all screens is synchronized without any hiccups. Normally, we wouldn't even consider using a docking station in such a setup, especially when it comes to client work, but having two integrated Thunderbolt 4 chips certainly helps. The station is currently compatible with MacBooks that feature an Apple Silicon chip, but not with models that have an Intel processor. This isn't very surprising though, since older models wouldn't be able to handle this kind of workflow anyway. The M1 Max and M2 Max can be connected to four screens, while the M1 Pro and M2 Pro are limited to two displays. The iVanky Fusion Dock Max 1 has a robust exterior with the housing being made from metal. Considering the internal performance, the device isn't even that large. Of course, it's not an average docking station, so the size and weight shouldn't come as a surprise. The unit can be placed horizontally directly next to the laptop on a desk or vertically on the integrated stand. We would also like to see a model in the future with four or six HDMI ports to have the ability to connect multiple 4K screens that are not specifically designed for the Apple environment. Additionally, a CFast 2.0 slot would also be worth considering since more and more cameras record onto these types of memory cards. Although the docking station doesn't come in cheap, it works reliably. Even though we don't regularly edit with multiple 6K monitors via MacBook, 
This is an impressive solution for professional editors who want to be able to handle such a workflow without any delays or performance issues. So if you're a filmmaker, photographer or cinematographer, this is the best option out there right now. Make sure to follow the link in the description to learn more about the iVanke Fusion Dock Max 1.